We begin our story from the perspective of a young Naruto Uzumaki laying on the f- laying on the ground, blooded and bruised. The boy was just beaten by a few drunken villagers for for reasons he wishes he knew. Ever since he would ever since he would remember, he was hated by most of the people in the village. As every time he walked in, the village people glared at glared at him and threw verbal hate at the boy with only a few expectations. He asked the leader of the village, the third Hokage, Hagorozen, one of the people who didn't hate him. Then, then he asked why people hated him so much. The third Hokage merely shook his head and told the boy that people hate what they don't understand. Naruto, although unsatisfied with the answer, knew that that, that was the only thing he was getting out of the old man. Now to continue throughout his life, now six years old, as he lays on the ground, waiting, wanting to ask anyone why he was, why he was as he did, why he was hated so, so much, but he knew he would never get an answer, no matter who he asked. Naruto choosing to rest a bit as his body healed itself, closed his eyes, Naruto opened his eyes to see he wasn't in an alleyway anymore. He was now in a sewerage's su- su- area. Gray, it's not bad enough that they beat me up, but they had to throw me in, in a sewer. Naruto though, Naruto though thought as he looked around, as he did, he saw a massive cage, a cage as big as the Hokage's monument itself. As he looked inside, he saw a man, a tall pale skinned man who had deep wrinkles and a strong jawline. He had a spiky and sh- shoulder length pa- shoulder length pale brown hair with a chin length braided lock hanging in the front of his left ear he also spotted a gold tee that tapered down to his waist he his eyes were purple with a small pupil in the, in the middle surrounding that is a ripple like pattern the man who wore the man wore a white full length kimono with a pattern of a six black orbs around a high color beneath which he wore a necklace which was also made up of six orbs on the black on the back of his komodo was a, a large black renegon marking with a part, pattern of nine megatomins arranged in a three rows of three beneath it he was also floating across on the, floating and cross-legged underneath him were nine black orbs floating just below him and in his hand he held a dual-headed Staff and one, one end had a rigged hoop, while the other end possessed a crescent-shaped curve, representing the sun and the moon, respectfully. Naruto looked at this man, and bam, thinking that he's seeing, that he's just imagining things. As the man slowly floated towards him, Naruto slowly stepped back, thinking this man was like the villagers. But the old man smiled and told the boy, "Don't fear, Naruto." I am here to help you. Naruto stood as he felt the old man's calming aura. Where am, where are we? Where am I or where are we? Naruto asked. We are in your mindset, Naruto. The place where you hold great power, but we shall discuss that later. Now, let's talk about you and me. The old man said and Naruto continued to stare at him. Now, with more confusion, me and you? What about us? And how do you know my name? Naruto asked the old man. The old man smiled. Let's begin with my name. I am Hagoromo Otsusuki, and you are me. But at the same time, you're not. You have two beings that within you that make up my power. You are the reincarnation of my two sons. The then now named Hagoromo said, as Naruto was even more confused. What reincarnation, Naruto? Had? Basically, just know that they were, they have been reborn into you, who they used to be will become you in the near future and many do not know this but I am the one who gave you everyone's chakra wait I'm the one who gave everyone's chakra I I and who some call the sage six paths Hagoromo explained as Naruto's eyes widened even even he as someone who was not able to read much knew who the sage was but if I'm not you but I have two people who make up you I think that's what you said. How will I become the next Sage of Six Paths? Naruto asked. To put it simply, combining the chakras of my two sons will make my own chakra so you can become the next Sage of Six Paths. 
Although I made it so, I made it so you'll be different. During the years I watched the Shinobi world, I decided to make to make you into something different. So using my eyes, which you'll you'll know so, so soon, I decided to give you your own pair of eyes that have only one ability called Absolute Copy. This ability is a bit confusing at first, so listen carefully. Hagoromo said, as Naruto nodded. Absolute copy is the most powerful ability ever created, and I do not doubt it can copy any and all abilities by just by looking at someone. For example, if you look at the Hokage, you can gain all his abilities if you want to. It's that simple. The ability itself has two parts: absolute copy and copy. Absolute copy allows copies of abilities to be maxed out from the get-go without any side effects for example the Sharingan which you'll also learn more about soon has four stages one Tamono, two Tamono, three Tamono also known as the mature stage and the Mangekyo Sharingan the Mangekyo stage this is also one part there and there's also the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and Renegon but it, the eternal is basically just adding power to your eyes and not going blind with while only a few select people can access the Renegon through evolution. Absolute copy cannot unlock cannot unlock the Renegon while you can not access through normal means. To go through these stages one has to experience Im immense emotions to unlock sta each stage but the absolute copy you can look at a person with one time and you unlock the the person's Mangekyo shutting gun. Hagoromo explained that as Naruto had no words. He couldn't believe believe it. All this potential to be stronger than the stage himself. Hagoromo continued, absolute copy is your strongest form of it. But you can only absolute copies five times. After that, everything you copy will go into your normal copy side. The normal copy side is self-explanatory. You can copy whatever person ability you look at. At that stage, the person has unlocked it has unlocked it at for example if you copy a two tamono shining you only have access to a two tamono shining and you'll have to get other evolutions through ordinary means this is one this one you can do unlimited amount of times the last thing and the best part is that you can switch abilities from absolute to normal and the other way around but if you switch abilities from absolute you'll retain the form it was in when you absolute copy it completely negating you needed to evolve anything as you can absolute copy an ability and then just move to move it to the normal copy side it'll stay like that and this is by far the best creation i have made and i can only entrust it to you naruto uzumaki hagoromo said naruto was shocked to say the say the least yes he was to, he totally he was totally confused and the man lost him when he started explaining the abilities but what he knew is he could be really powerful. Hey old man, this ability is so powerful. Why Why do you want me to have it? Surely there was someone better out there that could use it better, Naruto said. There is none better, Naruto. With the kindness of Ashura, but the, roughless, the ruthlessness of Indra within you. It should make for an interesting tale. And before you ask, those are the names of my two sons, Hagoromo said. As Naruto nodded, Hagoromo raised his hands and said, Now, Naruto, place your hands before mine and receive my power and knowledge. Naruto raised his hands to Hagoromo as a small white glue embedded, embedded from them. After a few seconds, the glow subsided and Naruto's palms were two seals. On his right, the sun, sun-shaped seal and on his left, a crescent moon-shaped seal. As Naruto was looking at, the, at them, uh, his body started to glow as he disappeared from the mindscape. Are you sure it was wise to give him so, mu so much power? After all, he does have both personalities of your son, so he is unpredictable. A booming voice said as a large and orange furred fox with nine tails stepped out of the shadows. I trust him not to destroy the world, but we shall see what will become of him after he meets them. Hagoromo responded, the fox grows. I do not like the fact that it is Indra who will be his first trainer. Hagoromo smiles and pounders. I did it for a reason. Asho is quite stubborn, much more stubborn than his brother. And had he trained Naruto first, he would have implanted his his will deeply into him, knowing his brother would have be his next trainer. And we and we know how hard it is to change the mind of someone like Asho once he has made it up.
His emotions rule his actions, and that is not the kind of shinobi the ninja needs. The shinobi the ninja needs, Hagoromo said. And what guarantees that Indra will not do the same the fox has? Nothing. To be honest, I want to see if Naruto would turn out turn out with a personality a personality like Indra, but some suspect but some aspects of Ashura. He had a, he has not experienced like genuine love ever since he could remember. He even considers the third Hokage as his caretaker, not someone who loves him as a per, as a parent or a guardian. Should first impression are important. With Indra being his first trainer, he would have loved the boy as he as if he were his own. After a few years, Naruto theoretically would be like Indra and would think of him as a brother, and Naruto would theoretically take more after Indra and honor him when he is gone. When Ashura comes into the picture, Naruto may consider him as a brother but won't have as much affection for him as Indra. He will still he will instill a bit of his will into his being and theoretically be a mix of Indra and Ashura. This is that is my goal, Hagoromo explained. So what I'm hearing is you want Naruto to have the calm and level headness and the will to kill if need of and need be of Indra, but also obtain the con kindness and compassion for others of Ashura, the fox asked. Pre precisely, Kurama. A mix of those two with an Indra personality leading the charge should make for an incredible shinobi and even an excellent leader, Hagoromo said. As the now named Kurama still has his suspicions, one more question, Kurama said. Hagoromo Naso is single and is listening. Ever since I was greater. I have never, never seen Indra show love to anyone, so what guarantees that he will do so for Naruto? Before creating you, Kurama, Indra was a loving brother to Ashra. He valued family over anything. I'm banking on that, that Indra would do the same for Naruto. He does the compassion, he does have compassion, except he never shows it, but you'll see, and it's it. It, it is in his actions, Hagoromo explained as Kurama retells and decides to trust his father. Complicated shames, complicated plan. We cut to Naruto's perspective as he slowly wakes, wakes up and is still in the alleyway. He looks at his hand and notices he has fully been healed. Unknown to him, only five minutes have passed on the outside. He stands up and walks to his apartment as he slowly as he slowly gets information in his head that was never there before, he holds his, he holds it in pain. As information about his powers seeps in, into his head, he now understands fully his powers work thanks to Hagoromo's implanting his knowledge into Naruto. Naruto knows the only weakness of absolute copy is that he still has to train his body and his chakra control and supply. Absolute copy gives him abilities he can copy, but the use Use them as efficiently as possible. He needed to train his control, his to train his chakra and supply to use as little little as chakra as possible while still maintaining the power of any of any ability he used. Absolute copy also did not help his taijutsu, so he would need to work on it on that himself. Knowing all, Naruto went straight to the nearest training field he could find. As Naruto near near the training field, thought he like in. Thought like thoughts like instructions enter his mind. It seemed like Amoromo is helping him get started. He arrived at the training field. He stood in the middle of it and sat down cross-legged and started to meditate. Using the instructions as a guide, he felt a pull in the core of his stomach. He he followed the pull up until he all pulled up in until he all he was a large blue ocean of chakra. Never touched the chakra. Naruto never touched the chakra as his eyes flung open and a massive wave of chakra surrounded the area. The chakra was dense and it seemed never ending. Haruzen, the third Hokage, was sitting in his office doing the usual paperwork every cage has to deal with. Suddenly, he felt a large wave of chakra. It was more chakra than anyone currently in the village has. There he said it was rivaled his own teacher, the second Hokage chakra. Haruzen stood and, stood and instructed his ambu to follow him as they follow the sig the signature. Haruzen arrived on the scene and he was surprised at what he saw Naruto on the training field and it seemed like he was merely unlocking his chakra. He couldn't believe a six year old had this much chakra. 
He consciously approached Naruto and asked, Naruto, my boy, may I ask you, what are you doing? Naruto looked at the man and simply answered, I'm just unlocking my chakra. But the academy, but the academy doesn't start until two years from now. Who taught you how to unlock your chakra? Harusen asked. Naruto stood up and yawned, feeling a bit tired from unlocking his chakra. I taught myself, I taught myself a bit of reading in here and there, and that was it. Naruto lied, thinking that telling the old man about Hagoromo was not the best idea. Harusen, not believing, not believing this answer, accepted the answer and nodded. As he and his Anbu left the scene, but not before signaling one of the Anbus to stay and watch Naruto. On his way back, he, he thought of giving Naruto a personal instructor so that he may learn to control his chakra. A shinobi with this chakra and the Nine Tails was surely going to be a great one, no doubt, but he would wait to see what the Anbu reported tomorrow to make a decision. Naruto clutched his hand once more as he received his final instructions from Haburomo and these instructions were hand seals. Naruto instantly did these, did these hand seals and slammed his hands on the ground. Summoning Jutsu, Naruto said, as there was a puff of smoke in front of him. A man appeared out of the smoke and Naruto knew this was Indra but didn't know why he was instructed to summon him. Indra had long brown hair, a cut short on top, two locks wrapped in bandages framed either side of his face and blue markings around his eyes which were turned up at the corners he wore a high color light color kimono held close by a dark sleeve slash the color of a kimono was adorned in with black hello there naruto uzumaki you already know who i am so don't there's no need to waste time in, in, intro, in introductions. I'm assuming my father, the crafty bastard, already informed you of your power, so activate them so we can begin. Indra said, getting straight to the point. Um, and how do I activate it? Naruto asks, as Indra signs, uh, it's a doji, so it's just direct chakra into your eyes. It should be easy enough, even for a beginner, Indra answered. Naruto nodded and directed chakra into his eyes. As his eyes gl glowed, a light blue color to indicate the activation of his dojutsu. He looked at Indra as he saw above him a list of his abilities and the abilities he could have had to further evolve his eyes. So the, do the dojutsu already copied all of his abilities, but in front of him, he saw a text saying, Would you like to absolute copy Indra Osasuki's abilities? Naruto selected yes. His eyes glowed a darker blue for a few seconds as they went back to the light blue glow. My father told me how your abilities work, and I'm assuming the brief glow means you absolutely copy all, all my abilities. Indra asked as Naruto nodded. Good. But, bef but before we work on those, we must begin with the basics such as chakra control and taijutsu. You don't need to expand your chakra as it expands itself as you grow. Even so, right now you have the highest chakra level, save for tail pieces, so it doesn't so it doesn't matter really. Indra explained as Naruto not in underst understanding a bit of on a bit unnerved looking at Indra as this expression hasn't changed since he was summoned. Keeping us Keeping a strict fate expression, he wondered if maybe he could do that. Now we begin your training, Indra said. So now we're skipping one year. It has been a year since Naruto training began. Naruto has surpassed every single one of Indra's expectations. It seemed maybe his father was right to put his trust into this one, unlike his stupid brother Ashura. During the year, Indra had made such made sure to teach Naruto uh, to trust in himself and his own power more than anything. He taught Naruto how to keep a straight face even though the most gruesome times in taught him that knowledge is a most important power in the world. Nindura had taught, had taught Naruto how to perfect his chakra control and he taught him a taijutsu style that relies on predicting the opponent's next move efficiently counter countering attack by attacking the weak points in the body and although this worked best with the sharingan indra had taught him how to use it without without and 
without it and that using the sharing gun only makes it stronger after six months of this training indra decided to begin his ninjutsu training and this is where naruto naruto truly excelled after only one month of naruto of naruto's have mastered how to efficiently use his, all his chakra natures except for yin release and yin and yang release as that was his brother's and father's territory. Two months later, Naruto had learned multiple jutsus with fire, lightning, wind, and, ele and other elements, being his favorite to use. His most notable jutsu were the fire style, majestic frame the story, lightning style, lightning dragon barrage, and wind style, great breakthrough. Naruto never went through a spar with Indra without using one of them. The next month was used to train his his Articular abilities. Naruto listed off all of the abilities he had copied from Indra, which includes Sasuke's and Madara's MS and running on abilities. For plus sakes, that's what we have to do. Indra in himself and was shocked at the power of the running on. He could have received. He could receive had his. He could have received his father if his father had chosen him instead of his brother. Since then. Since then, Naruto had absolute copy Indra's abilities. He could immediately access Indra's Mangeku, but Indra had had him start from the base. After the months had passed, Naruto mastered his base Sharingan, learned his Mangeku abilities in his left eye with the Amaterasu, which was a black, inconsequential flame that burned for seven days in his right eye. He had an Inferno-style flame control, which allowed him to control and exhaust the flames of Amaterasu using both of his eyes. He could use his Susano up to his full skeleton stage, and his Susano surprisingly had a blue-violet color. During his Sharingan training, he was introduced, he was instructed to never use, to never turn off his eyes. Even if he was questioned, he mustn't turn them off, as if this will help him get used to the strain the Sharingan can have if used long enough, sure, Sure enough, the soon the soon received question from the Hokage Naruto lied, telling the Hokage that one of his parents must have been in Uchiha, but he didn't know. Hokage, the Hokage accepted this answer, but went to check the records himself. After a few hours, he came to find out the boy's mother had Uchiha DNA within her, but even she didn't know. Also, the ambu that was stationed to watch Naruto was put under a Genjutsu by Indira, so he would report to the Hokage that he saw nothing. Keep that in mind. The last two months were used to train in weapons as Naruto began interest became interested in them. After seeing Indra fight using the sword, Indra went and asked as the best blacksmith in the town to craft him two long swords as Naruto was interested in dual wielding. The blacksmith, not knowing the swords were for Naruto, crafted them to the best of his abilities. After that, Indra snuck in the Uchiha main building and stole the treasure item of the Uchiha clan. He knew it wasn't one Naruto asked for, but he was sure he would love it. When he in, when Indra returned, Naruto saw the two blades. He was excited. He was excited until he saw a new a new weapon on his back. It seemed to be a fan. It is a wide fan with tomo, tomonos on it and had a long handle with bandages around it. The base as well as having a long chain attached to it. Naruto asked what was that as Indra told him that this was the Uchiha fan that his last reincarnation wielded and he wanted Naruto to learn and use it himself. Naruto thanks, thanks him as he learned how to use the swords and the war fan. In the last two months, like everything else, he has been doing, he took them easily. After a year has passed, Indra began to fade away as his time with Naruto was up. Naruto broke his usual static face which had which he learned from Indra's and cried and cried as losing his only brother he knew Ashra was coming after but the bond he was bu he built with Indra was one he will never forget. He could only wish to see him in the afterlife before before Indra faded away they had one last conversation. Well, Naruto, it has been fun, but unfortunately, I must go as my time in the living world has run out. Once more, although I'm glad my last moments are with you, remember, all I have taught you, trust in your strength and the most, trust in your strength the most and no one else. Goodbye, Indra says as he fully faded away. 
Naruto forces himself to stop crying, knowing Indra would kick his ass if he saw him like this. He ponders on whether he should summon Ashra now or tomorrow. He decided tomorrow to give himself a bit of time to rest as Indra was quite the grueling training. Naruto now wears a cloak similar to Indra and even styles his hair the same way to, rem to remember his, bro his first brother and friend on his side. He adorns the to he wears the two swords Indra got for him on his back with the fan with the fan of Madara Uchiha. After a few seconds, Naruto arrives home and sleeps, his mind replaying the good times with the good times with Indra. The next day, Naruto thought of going back to the training ground, but he knew Ashura is not as prohibited in Genjutsu as Indra. Was was so he would pick a more su scudo, suitable location. Fortunately for him, he knew the perfect place, the Forest of Death, a place he had heard a few Jonings talk about, and how dangerous it was. How dangerous it was. How even they wouldn't dream of going in there. Naruto, though, though it was perfect. After his thought, it was perfect. I apologize for that. After his morning routine, he went into the forest and prepared. Naruto went went through a few hand signals, hand jutsus, and says summoning jutsu as a puff of smoke appeared in front of him. Out of the smoke appeared a man with short, spiky brown hair, two blocks of which were wrapped in bandages, framing either side of his face in a similar manner to his brother. He po he possessed some stern fe facial features. He wore a light colored kimono with magneton torn around the color. The kimono was was held close by a dark colored slash. Hey there, Naruto. I'm Asura Ososuzuki. It's a pleasure to meet you. Asu Asura sound excited, sounding ex excited to meet Naruto. Naruto could already tell the difference in his the brother's personality as compared to Indra. They w they really were the polar opposite. Hello, Asura. Shall we begin? Naruto said straight to the point. Something he had learned from Indra, Ashura's sweat dropped as Naruto's demeanor and his look reminded him of his brother. He had a love and hate relationship with, with he, where he hoped he can at least influence him a bit so he wouldn't fully copy, be a fully a full copy of his brother. He saw Naruto's eye turn, turn a dark blue, and he knew what, he knew what had happened. And with that, they began training. So we skip one more year. One year later of training had passed as Naruto eventually also grew close to Ashura. Not as close as he was with Indra, but he, but he could say he also considered him as a brother. Ashura could say the same. Unfortunately for him, he managed to get Naruto to smile and show more emotion when he was around him. Although he still kept him, still kept his faceless emotion around state uh, around strangers this indicated to Ashura that Naruto trusted him even though he he won't have the same bond as Indra had with him his happy his happiness he spent the time he had with him in the year they train Ashura they train Ashura has spent six months teaching Naruto his form of taijutsu which was purely more which was purely being more unpredictable and adding plenty of force into your attack Naruto decided to combine this with Taijutsu styles Indra had taught him. The Taijutsu style of predicting your opponent's attacks and countering with a hard hitting blow and his weak points. While also being unpredictable should be a cautious arise, this was truly a powerful Taijutsu style. The remaining six months were spent purely learning ninjutsu as Ashura was not a pro fitted in was not a pro in Genjutsu. This is where Naruto's copy ability became useful as he managed to absolute copy all visibility. This means Naruto now has all Kekegenkais Indra did not possess. Ashura had first had him learn what style releases. As if it was the most versatile element Kekegenkai and just as Ashura predicted, wood release became one of his favorites to use along alongside fire. In six months, he managed to master his ninjutsu to the point where it, where it barely took a ch where it barely took a chakra to use even the most powerful attack. Ashura, who Ashura, who was shocked as he wasn't expecting someone with the growth rate this high, 
he wondered what he will become in the future. His favorite wood release jutsu to use were the wood style Deep Forest Emerged. And the second one was wood style Wood Dragon Jutsu. Ashura, similar to Indra, began to fade away as he as he and Naruto said their goodbyes. Well, Naruto, it's been a true pleasure training with you, Naruto. I now will lead this. I now will lead this world into something better. I'm putting all my trust in you. Goodbye. Ashura said as he faded away. Naruto keeps his strict face, but on the inside, he was upset that he lost another brother. Another brother. Before. Before Naruto could ponder on it, he pulled. He was pulled into the mindset once again, and similar to before, in front of him stood the Stage of Six Path. Your training is now complete, Naruto. What you do now will be of your own choosing. I'm looking forward to finding out what you make this world, and I expect great things of, out of you, Ogoromo said. As Naruto slightly bowed. Thank you for entrusting me, old man. I promise I'll make you proud, Naruto said. As the sage smiled, he mentioned he motioned for Naruto to come forward as he did. He placed his hand on his forehead and said, Now this this is now Naruto, this is my final gift to you. All my knowledge and the rest of my power. After this, I, like my sons, shall fade away and leave the living realm. Hogar almost said as he as his hand glowed and white and a bright light lit up the room. As Naruto closed his eyes when he opened them, he saw that Hagoromo was no longer there and before he could do anything else, a rush of emotion floated in him. There's, these memories contain Hagoromo's entire life. After Naruto, after receiving the memories, Naruto called out, Kurama, can you, you can come out now. As Kurama co comes out of the shadows of the cage and says, so you finally got the old man's memories, huh? It'll be a pleasure working with you, Naruto," Kurama said, as he held, as he had been instructed to, by Hagoromo to help Naruto in any way that is, that he is be to be in his partner in crime. I'm looking forward to it as well. But first, tell me, is it possible to unlock the seal? Naruto asked Kur as Kurama nodded and said, "All you have, to, all you need is to do is to rip off the tag." Please, place all your fingers on the seal on your stomach and turn your hand clockwise. Naruto floated up to the seal and ripped it off. He lifted his shirt, placed his fingers in, on the seal on his stomach. In one swift motion, he turned his hand on the seal. Started to unlock, Naruto stepped back. After a few seconds, the cage, the cage was a few opens and the barriers separated. Naruto and Kurama disappeared as Kurama was freed. If you want... And then, so I'm gonna say this: If you're wondering what happened to Minato and Kushina, Hagoromo took care of it. <laughs> now you can summon me. <laughs> now you can summon me if you want, similar to how you can summon Indra and Ashura. If you ever require me in battle, Kurama said, as he laid down. Isn't 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 that a bit unfair? Naruto asked as Kurama's sweat dropped. Like Naruto ain't no his own pro. His own power. Your your existence has been unfair ever since you got that power. This is nothing. Kurama replied, Fair enough. Although I will not require you much, I may summon you to put fear into opponents. That'll be fun. Naruto said as Kurama nodded in a slight in a silent agreement. Oh, so you're in my mindscape, correct? My mindscape. Correct. Does this mean I can communicate with you communicate with you even though even though when I'm not here, by simply thinking, Naruto asks, <laughs> Yes, but you can cut the link of our connection as well if you wish to to private your thoughts. I can also do the same. Kurama responded as Naruto nodded in understanding. I guess that's all for now. I'll talk to you later. Later, Kurama, Naruto said as he faded away. Naruto opened his eyes and still in the middle still in the middle of training of the training field he and Ashura had created through their training in the forest of death. Naruto decided to go to the stop to, to a shop to buy brown permanent hair dye and goes to his house to complete his transformation. After a plan after a few applications, Naruto now looked like this first master if he was going to make his mark in the shinobi world he was going to do it in honor in honor honoring the first person he saw as a brother naruto now looking like a complete copy of indra except the whisker 
and the blue marking on his eyes, which he completely fixed with a H. He donned his two blades on, his, on both of his sides of his hip, his fan in his back, and following his master's instruction, activated, activated Indra's three tamon sharding, not caring who asked how he attained it, and, ke- and kept them like, uh, like that until further notice. With that, he was now ready to begin his adventures. This is where I'm going to be leaving it off. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.